bring Greg here and will getting solar panels void your roof warranty? I'm going to show you what the roofing manufacturers say about mounting solar panels on their roof shingles. And then also I'm going to show you, hey, what happens to the shingles underneath the solar panels? Are they in worse condition or better condition? And lastly, what's the responsibility of the solar contractor and what's the responsibility of the roofing contractor? I'm going to cover all that in this video, so stay tuned to the very end. Okay, so here's an example of a solar panel system that's been on the roof many years. They now need roof replacement and we have removed the solar panels. As you can see in this lower picture here, the area that was underneath the solar panels, the shingles look a lot newer and a lot better condition versus the areas outside the solar panels. We got a lot of this black area. That's because a lot of the granules have worn off the shingles because the shingles have gotten dry and brittle and those shingles now need to be replaced. The solar panels actually shielded those shingles from the elements of the weather. And actually, the shingles last longer underneath the solar panels. However, if you ever have to have the roof redone, of course, the whole roof has to be replaced and reshingled. Okay, so let's see what the actual roofing manufacturers have to say about mounting solar panels on their roof shingles. So this company is called Atlas. Warranties needed for rooftop solar panels. Okay, primary concerns. The first step is to look through your documents and find out how many years are left on your home's roof warranty. If the warranty will expire soon, it would be best to replace your roof before adding solar panels. I do agree with that because if you install solar panels, and then a few years down the line have to have those solar panels removed and reinstalled, they can cost thousands of dollars. And so to avoid that cost, if you only have a few years left, it's just better off just getting a new roof and getting the solar panels. And some companies offer a new roof and solar panels in one package for your convenience. But I do agree with that. But let's find out though, if solar panels will void the roof warranty. Warranty worries. According to Atlas Roofing, the addition of solar panels using proper installation procedures should not invalidate your roof warranty. However, they recommend any solar system installed include its own warranty covering roof integrity protection. So in other words, the solar system should be installed properly and the solar company should be covering the installation of the solar system on the roof, right? Because the roofing manufacturer is only going to cover the roofing. So no, it will not invalidate your warranty. Okay, so that's Atlas. Let's take a look at another company. Okay, here's Malarkey. Malarkey Roofing allows the installation of compatible solar or photovoltaic panels, but certain conditions apply. Malarkey Roofing shingles and accessories are warranted to be free from manufacturing defects when installed in compliance with our latest installation instructions. Installation of solar PV systems must also strictly adhere to those PV manufacturer. The ability of the roofing surface to shed water as intended must not be compromised. And that's not gonna be a problem because the solar panels are mounted about three inches above the roof surface. The solar PV equipment related flashings and installation are not covered by Malarkey warranty, nor is any damage to the underlying roof system during its installation. Damage resulting from the installation of the solar PV system does not constitute a manufacturing defect and is not covered by the warranty. In other words, Malarkey is not going to invalidate your warranty for the roof. However, anything related to the solar system they're not going to cover because obviously they didn't provide the solar system. So it's just common sense. Should leaks result and Malarkey is able to, to determine the cause is related to a manufacturing defect, full warranty coverage would apply. Okay, so Malarkey is not going to invalidate your warranty to get solar system on your roof. Okay, let's look at another company. Here's GAF, they're a big company. 
Can I install solar panels over my GAF, GAF roof? Yes, solar or PV panels may be installed over GAF roofs. However, GAF recommends that shingles over which PV panels will be installed be less than five years old for optimal longevity as most PV rays can last 20 years or more. Okay. Let's see though if we can find something specific about the warranty coverage. Here we go. Does installing solar panels affect my limited warranty? And the answer is no. Solar panels will not impact the coverage under GAF's limited warranties. However, should there ever be an issue with shingles, no matter the cause, it is the owner's responsibility to have the solar panels removed at the owner's expense so that GAF can access the affected shingles for inspection, repair, or replacement. So, no, GAF will not void your warranty. However, if the solar panels ever need to be removed and reinstalled, you as a homeowner might have to have that cost bared on your shoulders. But no, they will not void your warranty. Okay? Let's go to another company. Here is Owens Corning. Let's see what they have to say about mounting solar panels on their roof. There is a variety of solar panel mounting and rack systems on the market. And the Owens Corning roof system is fully compatible with properly installed systems. However, the installer must protect the surface of the roof during installation. It is also critical that the installer follow the Owens Corning installation instructions as well as the solar panel and panel mounting manufacturer's instructions. We warrant your Owens Corning roof of shingles and components free from any manufacturing defects. Warranty coverage for all Owens Corning limited roofing warranties is in a full effect when installed underneath solar panel system with the following limitations. The solar mounting, racking, and panel systems themselves are non-Owens Corning's products and not covered by the Owens Corning warranty. That's common, common sense. Okay. Damage the underlying roof system during installation of the solar system is not covered. Installation workmanship of the solar mounting system or damage the roof resulting from the solar installation is excluded. So, in other words, they will still warranty your roof. However, again, anything related to the mounting and installation of the solar, that's going to be on the shoulders of the mounting manufacturer and the solar contractor they installed the system. And that's just common sense. So no, Owens Corning will not void your roof warranty if you put solar panels. Okay, here's another company, CertainTeed. Now CertainTeed is a bit interesting because they make roof shingles. However, they also have their own solar system and solar mount system. So they must be very confident in their roof if they're willing to actually themselves have their own solar mounting system and solar panel system. Okay, so let's see what CertainTeed's warranty is. With lifetime warranties available for our roofing products and 25 years standard for our solar products, we have some of the best warranties in the industry. So on their own solar system, they're doing 25 years and on the roofing, they're doing lifetime. However, they do not explain what happens if it's a different brand of solar panel and not certain teeth's own system. So I don't know, but I'm kind of guessing they're probably like just any other manufacturer where, hey, they're going to warranty the roof, but not the solar system or the installation of the solar system if it's a, not a certain teeth solar system. Okay, let's look at one other. This is a metal stone roof manufacturer, Dakara, and they make tiles and shingles and shake roofing that is metal and stone. Okay, so they talk here about installing solar mounts. Quick bolt stone coated steel roof mounts can be used for installing solar arrays with Takura metal roofing products. These mounts were designed in collaboration with SES roof manufacturers. Okay, so and they go on and on about solar. So they have actually collaborated with a roof mount manufacturer. So they're not gonna invalidate your roof warranty. 
Okay. Now I have not done metal roof manufacturers and I have not done uh, tile roof manufacturers because those companies tend to be local and there's many of them around the country. So I would recommend if you have one of those type of roofs to ask that roof manufacturer what their warranty is when you have solar on it. So what happens if you get solar panels on your rooftop? Well, this is almost like the analogy of, hey, when you get new tires in your vehicle, does the vehicle manufacturer just void your whole warranty? No. What they do is they say, look, we're not going to warranty the tires because obviously you got those somewhere else, but we're still going to warranty the rest of the vehicle, right? The same thing. When you get a roof, the roofer is still has to stand behind the roof, okay? And whether he likes you mounting solar panels on the roof or not, he's still responsible for that roof. I know in many states, they have to pull a permit for roofing. And as part of that, the state requires that that contractor stand behind the work for a certain number of years. I know in California, it's like 10 years. In different states, it might be different. But they can't just void your warranty for no reason just because they don't want you to mount anything to it. Okay? That's not how it works. However, of course, if there's something that's caused by the solar system, a leak that's caused by the solar system, for instance, that would be responsibility of the solar contractor. If there's a leak somewhere where the solar panels are not there, like, hey, there's a leak in a valley and there's no solar panels there, obviously that's responsibility of the roofing contractor, okay? But what if it's a roof where there are solar panels? Well, you can tell very easily where the leak is coming from just simply by looking in the attic and see where the wood is stained. And when that wood is stained, then you look outside and see what's mounted in that area. And so it's very obvious if it's a solar mount leaking, which is very, very rare, or if it is something else, some sort of valley or some sort of skylight or something else. I've been in the solar industry for 16 years now, and I can tell you that any roof leak with solar is very, very rare when the solar system is mounted properly with the proper solar mounts, it's not a problem. You can get solar on your roof. Just find out from the solar company, hey, what is their warranty on roof penetrations? Okay, that's what you need to know and see what type of mount they have and what that mount warranty is. Also, uh, yeah. I have a video, will solar panels ruin your roof? And I'll attach that here at the end. Watch that video because that explains how solar panels are properly mounted and improperly mounted and what the mount manufacturer warranty is. Solar Bright Green Greg here. And on this channel, we cover home solar PV, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any sales talk. See, I've been in the solar industry for 16 years now. And so I know all the insider secrets, all the tips, the tricks, but I'm also a homeowner just like you. And I know how it is. You don't want some sales talk, right? You just want some information and maybe some troubleshooting to help avoid an expensive service call. If that's you, you just want information, hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Oh, and by the way, in the comments, let me know where you're from. It's always fun to hear where people are from. And if you have an idea for a future topic, hey, pop that in the comments too. Thank you so much for watching and have a great sunny day. Bye-bye for now.